Hello everyone, you were asking me to do some recipe with beef tenderloin. So I bought this beautiful piece of meat and I'm gonna show you recipe with pumpkin, ginger and blueberries. So let's don't waste time and get started. And let's start with pumpkin. I'm gonna use it in two ways, pumpkin puree and pumpkin slices. I have here one butternut squash, so I peel it and then slice it on mandolin. Also give one piece to my food inspector to check out if the quality is good. Now I will make the liquid, which I'm gonna use for cooking. So I mix lemon juice, olive oil, salt and sugar inside the bowl. Then I mix it with pumpkin and some thyme, and I'm gonna vacuum seal it. And I'm gonna cook it 85 degrees Celsius, around 45 minutes. The rest of the pumpkin, I clean from the seeds and I'm gonna chop it to smaller dices. The seeds I keep on the side and later on I use them for my garnish as well. Try to chop the pumpkin to similar sizes so they are cooking evenly. And now it's time to sear them with a little bit of vegetable oil on high heat so they get nice color. In the meantime, I will peel and chop small piece of ginger so I can use it later on. At this time, has my pumpkin nice color, so I'm gonna cover it with water. Add few pieces of allspice, honey, salt, fresh ginger and I'm gonna cook everything until the pumpkin will be nice and soft. In the meantime, I'm gonna roast my pumpkin seeds inside the oven 180 degrees Celsius around 5 minutes. Pumpkin is nice and soft now so I can transfer it inside the blender and I'm gonna blend it properly. If your puree is too thick, you can put splash of water or adjust the taste with lemon juice or honey. Last thing I put in is some butter. I pass it through the chinois and my pumpkin puree is ready for the plating. Now I'm gonna prepare my liquid for poached blueberries. So I mix beef stock, fresh ginger and salt and I'm gonna bring it to the boil. Then I pour it on fresh blueberries and I'm gonna leave it to cool down on the side. And now it's finally time to start with the meat. So I have this piece of tenderloin already outside the fridge for around 30 minutes. And now I'm gonna season it properly with salt and pepper. Make sure you season even the sides of the steak and let's cook it. I start with good amount of vegetable oil in the pan, make it piping hot and then put the steak on the top. I get a crust on both sides and then I sear it even around. And for some bonus flavor, let's baste it with butter, thyme and garlic. I put it for around 5 minutes inside the oven. Then 5 minutes of resting and the steak will be ready for the plating. And the last thing I have to prepare 
are my pumpkin rolls. So I take them out of the bag. I put some pumpkin puree in the middle and roll them nicely. And guys, if you enjoy this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you first time here, click the subscribe button down below. So you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. For this recipe, I'm gonna use my blueberry sauce. You can see full recipe and learn how to do it like a bonus on my Patreon page. And if you would like to see more of my favorite sauces, chips, see bonus plating options, or just support my channel, I totally recommend you to check out the link in the description down below and join my community on Patreon. I see you there. And at this time, I have everything ready, so let's do the plating. I start with beautifully cooked pork tenderloin. Then are coming my pumpkin rolls. Little bit more of the pumpkin puree with ginger and honey. My poached blueberries. Some pumpkin seeds for crispiness. Few nasturtium leaves. I also put some nasturtium flowers. And I'm gonna finish it with my delicious blueberry sauce. So what do you think guys? Let me know in the comments. And now, let's taste it. And this looks amazing. Beautifully cooked piece of steak, close to medium because my girlfriend doesn't like bloody meat, but super juicy and tender. And that's everything for today, guys. If you wanna learn more about finding and cooking or get my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.